Last year, I started praying the prayer of Jabez. Expand my tent post, Lord. I didn't expect it to happen by evacuating and having to start up in a new country, but God's doing that. We ran. I left everything down. Because of war. My father was a politician, but he was targeted and killed. My mother was a nurse, and she was also targeted and killed. So I feel scared of myself of staying in my own country. The people were forced to come to Uganda. Others ran to Ethiopia. Others ran back to Sudan. That was a former enemy. There's over a million that have left their country to try to survive. And they're living in northern Uganda. Generally, in the refugee camp, life is very hard. And it's such a painful story there in the camp. People are dying, there's no care, there's no clean water, no enough food and health is bad. People are really trying hard to even feed a family. So Wings of Healing, myself and some Ugandan and South Sudanese workers are, are trying to bring hope to the hopeless. There are many families that have seen they have benefited from Wings of Healing. The churches, they have almost nothing to use, but the Wings of Healing is supporting them where necessary. We have quite a few medical patients that we take care of. There is a sickness which I had, a sickness which I never knew before. It's called Parkinson. The medicines are very hard for me to buy. So, we see Samanda was the one helping me up to today. Without her, it wouldn't have been me. I would have gone long ago. So I'm alive because of her. And I'm alive because of wings of healing. It's not just a, a message of salvation and conversion. It's a message of how to live. <laughs> wings of healing uh, is also helping the children who are fatherless and motherless. Right now we have 10 scholarship students that we've been helping with school fees. I found this mom, Amanda. She welcomed me with joy. And she told me she will go and pay my school fee. And I have hope and faith that in my future, I will do best and I will be helping other people as she also helped me now. So we're starting in a new country, a new foundation. We have to have buildings, we have to have vehicles, we have to register, work permits, and all these things cost. So really what we need is you to come alongside us, pray with us, and help support us financially. We cannot continue without prayers. Because of the vision of the founder, Amanda Samrani, I might say it's bigger than the UN vision because the UN is there to give you and tomorrow leave you there. Wings of Healing is to empower you so that tomorrow you manage yourself. We're equipping people to work in the camps right now. We're doing training of trainers. And that's the important thing is that we need to train up people to work with their own people. And I want people that have been running from war, that have lived in poverty, that have seen their children die for a few dollars, two dollars worth of medicine that they couldn't anyway uh, afford. I want them to see the hope that comes from Christ, that even in those worst situations that everything is redeemable if we have that hope for an eternal life.